the All in the Family crime spree. A father and his two kids now accused of robbing as many as seven banks in two states. The father and his son with guns, his 18-year-old daughter in the getaway car. ABC's Mark Greenblatt is on the story. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Dan. You know, people that we talked to who knew this family say that the father was a good dad and the kids even giggly, successful athletes. But if what police say is true, this father ended up raising his children to be bank robbers until their luck just ran out in Texas. Take a close look at the bank robbers in orange vests. Police say it's a father, son, and daughter team. An entire family of criminals suspected of robbing as many as seven banks in two states. Under arrest now for one in Texas, Ronald Scott Cat and son Hayden both allegedly went inside with guns. Police say that's Hayden wearing a fake mustache, while 18-year-old daughter Abby is charged with driving the getaway car. Incredibly, both children were honor students back home near Portland, Oregon, with Hayden an outright star on his high school swim team, and Abby joining him on the McMinnville Swim Club. Eric Lundin told ABC News he knew the dad. He was a single dad. I think he lost his wife, and he had the responsibility to take care of those kids, and I gotta tell you, Scott was there for him. But authorities say the standout group may have begun its crime spree back in Oregon, where they're now suspects in five more robberies. It's a complete shock. Uh, when they were in McMinnville, you wouldn't suspect them. They were really solid community members. And Dad, Hayden, and Abby only recently moved to Texas, where Crime Stoppers recently raised its reward to $25,000 for a tip leading to an arrest of the bank robbers. These suspects were identified in Crime Stoppers tips, and then law enforcement in Fort Bend County was able to corroborate that information. Police say the break came in finding surveillance tape, showing the family buying those distinctive disguises at a Home Depot. Curiously, just days before the arrests, Abby posted on Facebook, finally got the job interview I wanted. Man, I'm working my way up to big money. So proud of myself ever since I moved to Texas. We all have so much potential, some just need to decide what they're going to do with all of it. Presumably, that job will have to wait. And now this whole family might spend their Thanksgiving together in jail. With bonds set for the father and son at $140,000, the daughter Abby, $100,000. And Dan, Bianca, this whole thing could get a lot worse for them because Texas authorities have told those in Oregon to be on the lookout for their possible involvement in robberies there. That's a uh, sad story yeah. at the end of the day. All right, Mark, thank you.